Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I am very excited because in the video today, I'm gonna to be re reviewing my second pair of iron boots. These boots are the Norwegian split toe model in rosewood brown scotch grain, an anane calf, fully upgraded size 9E. In general, can fit a US size 9D slash E. It's the FLT model on the OP8 last. The leather is rosewood brown anane calf in scotch grain. Anane tannery denone is a French tannery. So it's very luxurious stuff, very silky to the feel. So the construction is hand welt. They use a wool as a filler instead of cork. They use a leather shank instead of steel. They used leather stiffener for both toe and heel. Fully lined with soft natural lining leather from the Netherlands. Veg tan leather welt leather insole and midsole from France. We've got four brass eyelets and three brass speed hooks. Iron Boots started in 2015 in Guangzhou, China. They are a small studio with six folks in total. The brand owner, boot designer, and maker, his name is Kai, also a boot enthusiast. He started to make his own boots after he realized that there is no such boot in the market that can reach his bars on all fronts. They started in China and later launched in Japan. They've received orders and compliments from customers all over the world, even from some boot makers. All iron boots are fully handmade with channeled insole construction. They are all hand welted, hand lasted, hand bottomed, and also hand sewn for the outsole stitch. Their lasts are designed and created by themselves and have been refined for a few versions based on customer feedback. They believe that great boots should have not only great craftsmanship, a great pattern, a great last, a great leather, but also great aesthetics. They source most of their materials from Europe and North America. We believe it is a way to pay back the community there. But when there is no perfect option out there, we will invest to build it ourselves. We have our own branded rubber sole because the shape and design of most rubber soles in the market don't fit with the design of our last very well. Our heel is smaller than most heritage boots, which looks more like heels from those high-end dress shoes. It's designed this way because this setup will be more comfortable for walking. Also, our waist is quite narrow, which is another thing you might see more often in great dress shoes. Another special thing about iron boots is that they are not trying to build heavy tanks. Instead, they want to build boots and shoes that are strong but are also light, as lightweight as possible. They believe that not everyone wants or needs to wear heavy duty boots in their day to day commute. So they're trying to remove extra weight in their boots as much as possible without impacting the quality and longevity. Very unique uh, details about their construction. They use wool as a filler instead of cork, and they use leather shanks instead of steel. Their leather lining is extremely high quality leather, which is usually used as an upper for a lot of boots and shoes. It's got a very strong feel and is quite smooth. The cost of their leather lining is very high, close to some brands upper leather. Starting in early 2021, all their boots will be using leather for both heel, counter, and toe puff. And so what's really cool is on their website, you can sort of customize. So these do retail at $750, but they basically feel like a bespoke fit on my foot. Again, this is a 9E. I'm typically a 9D Brannock. I'll get into some sizing comparisons here shortly, but they definitely run true to size. These are my other iron boots. These are in black waxed bull hide. Just some crazy, crazy monkey boot design. So they call their monkey boot the T-Monkey. These are also in a 9E and the fit is spot on. Definitely don't go down a half size in this brand. I would say definitely for sure you wanna go true to size and maybe even increase the width. So yeah, these 9Es, they're a perfect fit. They're very, very light. These are not, like they said, these are not tanks. They're not heavy, um, but they're very refined, very sophisticated, very bespoke. You can, you can just tell by the last, you look on the bottom, you see that really sleek last. They're definitely more narrow. Yeah, what's really cool about these boots is they also have them. They've made them in uh, both rosewood brown, as you see before you here. They also have caramel brown, and they also made them in black scotch grain and an calf, which was also a very attractive boot. And unfortunately, they, they haven't been able to restock that leather but they still have the rosewood and caramel colors available. So, and so yeah, so you knew this was coming. Obviously, they sort of have a similar look to the Alden Indy. These are my Alden Innsbruck Indies from Epaulette, New York City. 
Uh, this was part of a special order. So this is in brown chrome Excel. Very well loved pair of indies as you can see. Yeah, do a little size comparison here. So the iron boots in 9E are identical in length to the Alden Indy on the True Balance last eight and a half. Though, as you can obviously see, the width on the Indies is a lot, the Indies are a lot more rounded out in the toe. The iron boots are more narrow, more sleek, more of a dressier look of a boot. And you can see the bottom there, just the difference in width. But yeah, so these fit very well. It's like a bespoke fit, I would say. Um, and you know what, their lasts look a lot by my eye. They look very similar to the Edward Green lasts, the very sleek, dressy lasts. Um, when you hold these, you know, they feel kind of lightweight, but that's because of the wool, the wool instead of the cork and the leather shank instead of the steel shank. So yeah, so these are very lightweight compared to the Indies. The Indies are very much, like Iron Boots said, more of a tank, whereas these are just very refined, very lightweight built durable but not built to be like super duper heavy so that's a good thing yeah so when i wear these i can wear these with like thin thinnish socks and also wool socks work very well with these just a beautiful boot everything about this boot is hand done you don't get any more attention to detail than that the spi around the welt is super duper tight it's a 270 degree goodyear welt we've got a hand stitched split toe norwegian split toe design on the vamp the norwegian split toe is going to be hand sewn similar to the indies this mock toe is cosmetic so is the iron boot it's all one piece of leather on the vamp this apron here is not a separate piece of leather so that's one thing to take into account is it's not a true mock toe and then you also knew this was coming so these are my grantstone ottawa boots in bourbon suede very similar on the norwegian split toe there you can see that these are cosmetic uh, Norwegian split toes and the hand stitching is very similar on both. You get this line of leather protruding out. Uh, I think it's very attractive. I think it's a really good look. Grant Stone, eight and a half, Iron Boots, nine E. So yeah, these Iron Boots, obviously they definitely run small. The length is identical. The width, obviously, on the Iron Boots is so the Grant Stones are, are an eight and a half D, the Iron Boots, nine E. There you go. Look at that. So you, uh, my recommendation, if you have a wide foot, definitely up the width too. So go true to size and probably up a width is my sizing recommendation for Iron Boots. But yeah, it feels like a custom fit for my foot. It's a perfect fit, lovely, just a lovely boot. So elegant, so tasteful, silky to the touch. Very, very well done. I'm a big fan of this brand. A lot of makers coming out of Indonesia and China are just doing a bang up job with their construction methods and everything. So what else I really love, you know, you all know I'm a sucker for leather soles. I love leather soles. This is no exception. What's also really cool is yes, they do the leather sole. The leather sole breathes very well. It offers a ton of support, way more support than rubber ever can. And also they include their very own proprietary iron boots, uh, steel toe tips here. What they do is they cut out a little piece of the leather. They install their iron boots toe tip here, triple screwed in, very nice. That will help with durability for sure. They also have their own iron boots rubber heel here as well. Just a luxurious boot. I can't, I can't say enough good things about it. I love it. This scotch green from the Anane tannery is super duper luxurious stuff. You can tell it's French because it's so refined, so delicate feeling, but just very sophisticated feeling as well. Speaking of Anane, this is my first pair of boots in Anane leather. This is uh, this is black French calf Anane leather. Uh, these are my Grantstone Chelsea boots. This is on their Eurolast, so a little bit more tapered out in the toe there. A little bit more of an almond shape as opposed to the rounded out Leo last. Yeah, left boot, left boot. Let's do a sizing comparison there. Yep. Identical in terms of length. Pretty close in terms of width there as well. So if you're in the market for a nice Chelsea and you want to experience some of that French Anane tannery, tannery Danone leather, Grant Stone's a good, it's a good stop for you right there. What do you guys think about these boots? Please leave me your thoughts in the comments below. I am blown away by these. I love these. I'm going to really start wearing these hard in the winter time, probably with some, uh, with some dressier apparel. 
yeah, I just love scotch grain. It's so cool. It's so gnarly looking, so full of character. And yeah, it's really refined stuff, really sophisticated. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please leave me your thoughts in the comments below. You can follow me on Instagram. My username is aerosurferlv. You can track how these patina over time. Also check out my website, dalesleatherworks.com. I sell kilties, I sell cuffs, single cuffs, double cuffs. I also do vegetable tan leather insoles, and I also do custom bags. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you all in my next video.